Hey guys and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek. Today I'm going to be taking you through three things that you must absolutely do when you get your new Synology NAS drive all set up. So let's get into it. So the Synology NAS units, they're, they're lovely small compact units. And, uh, you know, I've got the DS920 Plus and, you know, lovely four bay unit. But at the end of the day, you know, there are computer inside there and you need to treat them in the same kind of way as you, you probably would do with your normal computer. So, you know, antivirus and firewall protection, stuff like that, because absolutely you, you don't want any kind of hacker getting onto, uh, you know, your NAS unit from, from outside and, uh, you know, wreaking havoc on, on what you've gone and stored there. You know, the whole idea of these units is to protect the data that you you value the most within you know your family photos or you know documents and things like that so what I want to do with this video is just take you through three things that you know you should set uh, in place on your new Synology NAS before you start putting on things like your photos and your documents and things like that so first of all we want to get some antivirus software installed on your NAS unit and the quickest way to do this is to go into your, your DSM which is obviously your, your desktop for your NAS unit, go into the uh, control panel and then look for uh, antivirus uh, packages. And you actually get one free with this, which is antivirus essential. And um, you know, basically you, it's just a one click install. I, I already have this um, installed, so it's just showing as open there, but you just install it and really you can leave it running out of the box. Um, I think it's fair to say this is probably equivalent to something along the lines of, say, like Windows Defender. So it's it's pretty decent, but you know, obviously for something that's free, um, it's not necessarily as good as maybe a, a fully paid package. So just bear that in mind. So the next area to focus on is who actually has access to your NAS unit. Now, out of the box, uh, as part of your setup process, you're going to have an administrator account. Um, or an admin account set up on that box and uh, as well as a guest account and you absolutely don't want those to be freely available to uh, to anybody to try and hack into so again you, you need to be in your DSM and you go into control panel and uh, users and basically you know you just um, you know if you've got the admin and the guest account there you need to make sure they're disabled. So you just click on the account, um, click on edit, and then just click on the disable account uh, checkbox on the uh, on the screen. And that's it, that's all you need to do. Now, if you do want your guest account to be available for, um, you know, maybe if you, you've got um, you know, friends staying over in your house or something like that, then obviously you, you need to think about enabling that. But you may also need to think about what other services you might need to lock down on the NAS uh, unit depending upon what you go and install um, after all of these steps so just something to bear in mind you know you're trying to reduce down the uh, attack surface on your device that ultimately that's what you're trying to do so the final point I'm going to go through is with regards to um, reducing down uh, really who can access your computer even further and you're going to do that via the firewall on the NAS unit now what you're trying to achieve here is is really kind of you know focusing uh, the the actual network connections that can actually uh, link up to your NAS unit. So it's a fairly straightforward process. Um, you need to go back into your DSM software, and uh, you know you go into your control panel, and then uh, go into security. And you'll see there that there's a uh, firewall tab on the security uh, window. So you go into that and you need to make sure that the firewall uh, is enabled just by ticking that box. And what you then have a bit further down the screen, you have this option of creating these profiles for your firewall. Now, um, what I've done here, um, and I've just got three steps here, there is a lot more that you can actually do if you wanted to. So basically what I've got here is um, I'm allowing traffic from my internal network to be able to access the firewall because obviously I still want to be using it when I'm at home. Um, I am also allowing uh, then um, traffic from uh, the country that I live in. 
uh, to be able to get access to it because obviously you know I need to be able to do that and then ultimately then I'm denying the rest of the world from accessing that so those three simple uh, steps and you know it is quite straightforward you know you can see there on the video you know the different um, different options there you just need to fill those in so basically what you're doing there is you're just really reducing um, you know the the connections where they're coming from um, you know if you're only using this on your local network at home you don't really need anybody else from outside of the you know your local IP address from for actually being able to connect to it if you actually want to uh, connect to it when you're you're going around the country absolutely you're going to need to be able to do that but you don't want somebody in China or somebody in um, you know Germany or somebody in Australia or something like that accessing your network if it is located in a completely different country so um, you know that's basically what you're trying to achieve here and uh, as I say you know you can build upon that you can do a lot more with that um, it's probably for a you know a more in-depth video on that side of things but these three simple steps um, you know taking you through with the antivirus you're restricting your users and then restricting your network activity are probably the three essential things you need to set up before you start actively using your Synology NAS unit. Okay guys, hope you found this video useful. Uh, you know, if you did, you know, hit that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'd love to know your, your thoughts on the video down below in the comments. Uh, you know, anything else that you'd like to see me go through on, on these Synology NAS units. Um, you know, any questions you've got around what I've, I've taken you through today. Um, but, you know, as always, thanks for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.